Hello everyone, um, this is going to be a stealth camping video. There's a security um, truck right there. I'm not sure if they're thinking I'm staking them out. But I was walking out of uh, Walgreens here and I see uh, a field over yonder, like a little house on the prairie. Um, I think I'm going to do a stealth camping tonight out there, so I'm going to go back and get my stuff. Uh, it's only 1 o'clock, so I'll go maybe 5, 5 p.m.-ish um, and set up and then come back out. I'm thinking I can do maybe uh, a gourmet kind of meal out there, and gourmet just means that I'm not doing a rehydrated, uh, quick uh, meal. I'm going to chop stuff up and, and do some kind of stealth chef camping for you so uh after the intro um i should be back here at ground zero but before i leave i did notice there's a red box if you guys know this answer some places have red boxes that are called red boxes but they're blue i'm not sure what that means but this right here actually has a perfect spot to put a card right there so if they want to enjoy some videos on on youtube uh they can do that i'm not sure if anybody even uses these anymore but there's that so we'll see you after the intro back here Okay, traffic is really, really busy on this road. Um, it's not a bright idea, I guess, where I'm doing this at. So I'm gonna circle around a couple of times, see if I can drop my bags off instead of walking with big bags on my back. Um, my backpack, my hiking backpack, is probably 70% of it is just one rolled up mattress. Uh, so uh, it is that three inch new mattress I got and I, I wanna test it out today and it just takes a lot of room, but stealth camping is just stealth camping. You can take as much items as you want. You can take your whole living room if you want, but just don't get caught. So it's not, uh, it's just a little easier to do it with less items as possible. So I'm not sure how other people do it when they have one little bitty school backpack with just little stuff in it. I'm not sure if they have bigger backpacks somewhere else hid that they don't show us, but I, I pack heavy. So we'll, uh, we'll see. But here is the traffic again, major intersection, uh, not the easiest to do. It's easy to think about before you do it, but um, when you're right in the middle of the moment, there is just a lot of freaking cars right here. get over here and uh, maybe see if I can uh, hide over here, drop the stuff over here later because the field's right in front of us there and there is the uh, Walgreens over there. Oh, there's a gas station here. 
Um, this is backed up all the way to here and the fields on the other side of that. Uh, I think that's my end right there. So I am going to turn around and uh, probably end up dropping my bags off. So let me put this camera down so I can get to where I'm gonna go and I will see you in a bit. GoPro stop recording. <laughs> Man, I have to go like the next 10 minutes. I have to get, get across here. Uh, the traffic is not slowing down. The stoplight is over there. And look at these cars all the way down like a parade all the way down there so if i i'm parking my car here i did not see a you cannot park here your car is going to get tow, towed at owner's expense i didn't see any, anything about no overnight parking so that is a good thing i just got to worry about people maybe breaking into it and still in garbage um i'm going to get all my bags that i got and just hike right on over there and just start walking and maybe people would just stare at me and wonder what's going on and hopefully nobody calls the police and says I saw a guy walking over there in the woods uh, but I have to get I have to get geared up and I'm probably going to have my camera on while I walk across the street maybe uh, but other than that uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do what I got to do so wish for the best see you across the street in the wilderness go post stop recording I walked all the way down here from the Walgreens just right there because traffic is slowing down here. So what I'm thinking about doing is crossing the road uh, at the next light. The next light when it turns green and those cars go up, I'm going to head over to the other side of the street and then start walking that direction. Just looking like a hitchhiker um, and just start going into the woods. Like, well, not in the woods, but into the, uh, the little uh, house in the prairie uh, weeds. Hopefully nobody calls the police on me. Maybe they just wonder what the heck I'm doing. Maybe doing a shortcut to the uh, next road. Hopefully that. So once I get in there, I'm probably not going to set up a camp yet. I'm probably going to wait 15 minutes or so uh, just in case the cops might want to come. That I, I won't be set up with a tent and everything. That I'm just going to sit there and relax. So I don't see a no trespassing sign. It says for sale plus or minus 15.23 acres or something like that. So uh, wish me luck. Man, this traffic is not dying down. It is like the heart of rush hour. It's, it's, it's almost 5.45 already though. I guess people got off work from Memphis and just getting here about, about 5.45. I know St. Louis is about rush hours from like 3 to 4.30. Okay, let me shut up. Let me get across the road. Go to post stop recording. Okay, I'm making a break for it now. Traffic is flowing. Um, they're they're still going to wonder what I'm doing, probably. But uh, I'm just going to walk through here like I'm doing a shortcut. Uh, that is my um, my excuse. But I'm going to hurry up and get back here and make a loop around so I can get into the woods real quick. But there's behind me. There's this in front of me. And if I could just dip into here, nobody can see me. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep walking. But I'm going to point this camera backwards to show you the stop sign and stuff that people's probably already calling the police or something. Uh, but I can pretty much talk as loud as I went back here. Nobody's going to hear me. Uh, so hopefully nobody comes up back here and tries to, tries to kill me. Uh, I'm not seeing any snakes right now. But that doesn't mean there's none. It is going to get cold and snakes don't like the, the cold. So they're going to be moving kind of slow. Uh, I'm pretty far back where they probably can't see me right now. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and maybe pop a squat right here. This looks like a good spot of any. And uh, if you look that direction. You can't really see anything, so they're not going to see me doing anything back here. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna sit down, like I said. I'm gonna sit down for about 15 minutes. I'm putting my microphone on. There are I gotta kneel down. There are cars on that side that could probably see me if they're looking over here. But at nighttime, I'm pretty sure uh, 
in the cloak of darkness i'll be okay so let me uh get my stuff out and uh, kind of get prepared to to set up camp go post stop recording okay i walked down a piece of area here i have my ground tarp uh, that i'm going to put out so it doesn't poke the bivy tent um, if you saw the uh, new gear that I uh, posted of the new gear, the the stealth camping, um, you will know uh, what the bivy tent is. But if you don't know what the bivy tent is, you will know in a minute. Might fold this over. I'll double it up. Okay. Here you go. I think we got some good, some good coverage here. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure nobody's going to see us. I'm not going to start a fire. There's too many uh, tall grass, dry grass, and it hasn't rained here in a long time. So I'll probably clear a little spot out just to use my butane. But I'm not going to. I'm definitely not going to start a fire. Before I did this, I was going to just uh, do a, a rehydrated meal, but um, I saw the area again, and I was like, you know what? I think I think I can do a a kind of chef cooking. It's not really chef cooking. I just I'm just gonna make some fajitas tonight, but it's it's a little a little better than. Uh, doing a rehydrated meal so you can at least see me cooking a little bit when I was in Texas I had this grass that was stinging grass or stinging weeds or something hopefully I don't get that out here because it really messed my leg up it is still messed up uh, it's uh, got a big scar on it so it's uh, it's healing up but let me uh, let me get this tent squared away and then we can get to going. I think this one you have to peg these down first. The weather's supposed to be, I think the lows will be 52. So at least I'm not gonna be sweating. I brought a, I brought a jacket, so I'll be good. And I brought a thermal shirt. I'll put those on later. Let me get these crossbars on here.
almost done guys two more pegs to go and I'll show you what it looks like Okay, there you go. Get back here, and that's the bivy tent. So if you're kind of, hell, if you're running like about 100 feet away, you can probably barely see it, but it's uh, pretty low profile to the ground, really low. And I got my air mattress I'm gonna put in there, so I'm gonna air that up now. And uh, then I'm gonna get to cooking, so. Let me get this done. The sun is going down. I have the sun's about right there. I got about 45 minutes. So let me get this done and uh, be right back. foam pretty good pad we put it in the tent here is the bug fly so I can keep it just like that to get a little bit of air and then Here's the inside, but this fits perfectly, perfectly in there. So I'm gonna watch some movies tonight while I relax. Bam, you got that much room on the top or at the bottom, but that fits really snug in there. I can put my phone and stuff in there. Okay, let me close it up so the mosquitoes don't get in there. And let's go do some cooking. Okay, I got everything in my bag that I think I might need for late night, so I don't have to snoop through it. I got my toilet paper, um, I got cups, I got water, I got the gas that we're gonna cook with. Uh, I got my camping chair. I'll show you the camping chair a little bit later, but we're burning daylight, so we have to get this cooking going. I have my solar powered charger, which is charged all the way up now. So I have everything good to go. I got my clothes on that, that branch as a clothesline. So here we go. I show all that we got. First thing I'm gonna do though, see if I got it in my pocket. There we go. I got my shovel. This is my poop, my poo shovel, but I haven't used it yet for that. But I'm gonna clear a spot out here just so I don't burn anything up, just in case. Uh, but I'm only cooking with that little bitty grill, that little bitty fire. It's just gonna be right here. But you can't never be too cautious. Well, I guess you can maybe, but that's what they say. So I'm just curling up, cleaning the spot out. That should be good enough. Now I'm doing a one pot. I don't, I don't like cooking a lot of pots. Uh, if you're with Tasha though, we're, we're, we're cooking with every pot we have. Cause I, I wash dishes. I'm the one that washes dishes. But uh, I got one pot, so we're just gonna do that. Um, I have, chicken put this in this camera view see if that's in that view good okay right there so we got chicken it's already pre-cooked so I don't have to do a lot of cooking with the gas uh, we have jalapeno it's not Mexican without a jalapeno uh, I do got bell peppers. Um, I did the green, 
bell pepper. They're 99 cents, which is kind of steep, but I got a really huge one. So this is almost two. Yeah, I'm cooking, cooking with all of that. That's what she said. Uh, I got some fajita skillet sauce uh, with chipotle, chipotle and lime. I do have some uh, cheese. This cheese is called rattlesnake cheddar. If that don't scare you out here, what will? I think it has tequila something and I don't know, habanero in there. I did bring my fan, the best thing out here, just in case I need a fan. I do have tortillas, have to have tortillas. Have a whole onion. I have lettuce, I, I, I just took a little bit though. And got fancy with it, got a bell pepper, an orange one. I didn't get the red and the yellow. Uh, I'm on a budget, but I did get one extra color. So there you go. Maybe I should have done this with this camera too, so you see everything. Okay, whatever. I got more gas in here, but I'm gonna save that gas. Those are the two full ones. I do have my pot. And I put rubber bands around the whole bottom and the top, so the top stays on it. I know, I'm freaking smart. And this is the pot I used from Arkansas, so I used that one when I was in Arkansas. I made a, uh, what is that, Malvern, Arkansas, Arkansas. Um, I did uh, make a uh, beef stew. Instead of cooking a beef stew on the fire with the rehydrated, just heating it up real quick, put water, I actually gourmet chef. So I gourmet, I'm gourmet chefing today. And move all this out the way, and I can get to cooking. Okay, I did bring a white shirt because I'm still sweating from trying to be creepy out here. My adrenaline, my adrenaline was pumping, that's what she said. And I got a meat cutting board and a veggie, but the meat's already cooked, so I'm not wasting two of them. I'm just gonna use the veggie cutting board. I have a wooden flatula. Sounds like flatulent, so they don't call it a flatula. Uh, I have three knives here. Who needs three knives? I will need one. Got aluminum foil, don't need that. Got my EVOO. Yeah, I'm gonna need that. Uh, that's all. I think I'm good. Okay, let's get to cooking. I don't think all this is going to fit in the pot, so I'm def I might not be able to, to cut all this up. So let's just let's just do this. I'm gonna cut the veins out of here. I'm not sure if y'all like the bitter the bitter veins, but I don't. But if I was surviving, I'll eat all this. I'm not sure how much is going to fit in that pot. That, that'll do it, okay? For fajitas, I like to cut mine really thin and keep them kind of long. I don't need to, to cut them and dice them. I'll just cut it in half. See if we can see better with that one, yeah. Okay, Taji's not here. Yep, don't do this at home, kids. Whoa. I cut right against that, that membrane, that vein, so I can just cut that out. And I don't even like putting food thrown in the woods because I don't want any freaking raccoons to come up here at night. So I am going to probably Put those with me in the tent. Julianne these. I don't know who Julianne is that was cutting everything really thin, but that's what they named them, named them after, I think. 
if you if you know any more than I do, please let me know why they call them Julie Julianne. Okay. When I come back this time next year, there'll be bell peppers growing out here because there's seeds everywhere now. Not sure if you guys stealth camp, uh, but I did I did ask questions that I am going to answer um, that I posted on the community news of uh, YouTube. So if you're not following me, like with the, the notifications, hit your notification bell and you get a lot of uh, you know, interaction with me that I try to answer your questions. So uh, I did ask if you guys had questions uh, about stealth camping and such. So I am going to be answering those later. I haven't looked at them yet because I want to be surprised uh, when I do read them. So. We'll see how how many questions I have, if any. I know the last time I did stealth camping, it was kind of bleak with the questions. There wasn't many. I'm gonna put the chicken in last since it's already cooked. I wanna I'm gonna render this down, not render it down, but you know, get it a little opaque, a little transparent, and softened up before I put that in there. Uh, got my onion. This is all extra. I'm done with that. And I'll take this off of here. Don't waste too much of it. Do not do that. My grandmother just had passed away. She would have a cow if you waste too much onion. She, or anything because that would be wasting but Tasha might be watching the video so I don't supposed to pick that up if it gets too dirty it, it got too I thought about it but it did get too dirty okay That should be all for now. I am going to put my poop shovel over there. And I won't be using that much anymore for this because it's probably our first time using it tonight. I know it's TMI. Here we go here. Okay. A little bit more. Okay. I didn't bring any salt. Usually I use salt to render it down uh, to, to make it sweat easier. But I am, ooh, almost forgot the jalapeno. But I don't want to put too much salt in it because I bet you this pack has a lot of salt in it. Okay, let me get this jalapeno. I'm not a fan of heat. I know some people think I am. So what I'm going to do, if you don't want the heat, guys, just cut the, cut the seeds and the membrane out. Uh, that will definitely help you out. When I first made jalapeno poppers, I was wondering why they told you to do this. Then they told you to add cayenne pepper to the Philadelphia cheese and such. I like because it tastes almost like a bell pepper once you take all that out. Some of them still taste kind of hot, but a lot of them just taste like a bell pepper after you get done doing this. You get the little taste of the jalapeno, but that's what I'm going for, just the, the flavor. I don't want any big bites of jalapeno. The jalapeno uh, contest in Laredo, Texas really messed me up for life. So I'm not a fan of jalapenos much. I do like jalapenos in my popcorn. If you go to the movies, and I'm not sure if they still do it, but they used to give you free packs of uh, a free little cups of jalapenos, the pickled jalapenos that go on your nachos. You gra I used to get four every time. Hey, can I get four of those? They were free, and I put them on my popcorn. But I think too many people started doing it, so it messed that up for everybody. 
Okay. I got some hand sanitizer. I'll clean this off before I put it up. Okay, let me break my um, deal out. Where's my cooking apparatus? I got a bigger one for a pot that I started using, so I'm gonna try to use that one instead. I think I put it in here. I think so. Brandon, what'd you do with it? Here it is. This is the bigger transformer um, stove that the pot sits on better. The other one uh, sits okay with the uh, with the little pot, but that bigger pot, I like to use this, this nicer size one. I got the uh, adapter on here so I can use a bigger butane, uh, a bigger deal, so I'll do that. I'll use that another time because I'm about to get some bigger canisters because these canisters, I think it equals like eight of these and one, one bigger one that I can use. So that's all you do is there, fold these out. Good to go. Make sure that's off. And I need a freaking lighter. Here we go. This is for my coffee in the morning. I'll use that for the coffee. Okay. Down here. Get you a close up. You only brought two hands with me today, folks. Get that even. Okay, put a lid on here, set it and forget it. Set it and forget it. No, I'm not gonna forget it, I gotta keep stirring that. So I'm gonna let it heat up a little bit. I'm fixing my camera angle and see you in a bit. While that is, while that is cooking right now, I'm gonna show you my one Tigris uh, chair if you, if you missed that uh, new gear uh, video. But this holds, I think I wanna say 350 to 440, maybe 350 pounds, but it is very lightweight. It's like one of them toys. I forgot the name of the toys. The little sticks that you make stuff with. But this is the back of it here. But that's all you do. Simple as that. And then put these on there. These go. These are a little tight, she said. But uh, I'm gonna put these on first. It's got a little pocket in here. Okay. There we go. And it's low profile, so if I have my, my two-person tent here, I can sit in my tent with this chair and still be okay. I wish they had a little loop here where you can grab this. That'd make it a little easier. has great back support. Uh, my other one that I had when I went hiking, the back support sucked. But this one, very, very relaxing. Low profile, so that is good. Okay, let's check up on this. Still lit. Look at that. Look at that. What is going on here? Okay, put it back on. I think what I'm gonna do out here is uh, 
If I'm at home and I'm leaving the house to come straight to where I'm going, I'm probably going to saute everything almost until the point where it's almost ready to go because it uses a lot of gas to try to saute this down. I've been out here I'm show doing this for over 10 minutes and it's just now about like that. I mean, I've still got another five minutes to go at least. But if I'm on the road and I pick something up from Walmart or whatever, I'll have to do it like this. But I think I'm going to try to dumb it down and try to make it easier uh, when I'm out here to do that. I'll have to still put it in there warming up and probably get it more translucent. But I want to get it pretty much at least halfway there so I don't have, so I don't have to use as much uh, gas. Um, right now, while that's cooking, I'm going to show you. Traffic died down a whole bunch. Let me cut the freaking light off. Uh, but, uh... I don't see any backed up traffic anymore, but right there is the road. I wait till another car comes by. There you go. And uh, there is Walgreens. So if I need anything, uh, like a red box or um, anything, I can go to Walgreens. But I was gonna camp out right here, right here in this area or in this area but you can see the road and they can, if you can see the road that good they can kind of see you probably not as good as you can see them but over here is a very 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 better spot because i am only i'm going to say i'm only 30 feet from where i'm camping at and it's right there you can barely see it but that's it right there and wherever i'm camping at you cannot see you cannot see the traffic at all hardly so they definitely can't see me there so i'm hunkered down oh can't use that word that is steve wallace's word i am popping a squat right here near my wigwam so let me check check my food i think it's about good to go put my cheese in last I'm going to go ahead and put some of the sauce in to let it marinate in there I'm not going to use the whole pack I'm going to put a half a pack in 28% of what is that 26% of my daily intake Still in the same tank of gas there so that gas is about to wear out it's just it was a, a pretty empty one that i used from the hiking trip but i'm just going to use that all up okay uh turn your head tasha <coughs> you can see that <coughs> just extra pepper nature pepper that they call that outdoor pepper i watched another guy named matt uh poza he, he, he camps with his dogs he actually uh, he always does the salt he says not too much salt not too little salt just the right amount of salt every time he adds salt but this is getting good and don't cook the don't cook the spoon the fat flatula do not cook the flatula i'm putting all this in there that's what i said ha <laughs> ha she did not say that but no antibiotics ever it says ev ever carved chicken breast okay see how much this oh yeah this is gonna be a good meal I'm definitely going to be using that poop shovel can you smell it can you smell it
I think I'm just gonna cook this till that butane runs out. I mean, that whatever gas is in there. Let's go ahead and carve some of this cheese up, and I'll let you know what is in here um, in a little bit because I have it on my phone. I took a picture of the store, the store's uh, sales pitch on it. Be right back. Let me chop this up. Okay, I can do it right now. See how good that melts. Wanted to get a good melting cheese that was easy to melt, but we'll see. This should do okay. Cutting it really thin. I'm just a little lactose intolerant. I'm less lactose intolerant when Tasha's not around. I did try some of it. It is actually pretty good. It's a little spicy too, but it's a good spice. It's not too hot. Okay, the gas is about done, so I'm going to put a lid on it and just let it go, and I'll catch it back when I'm eating. Okay, I have this light on right now. I'm at, I, I, still, I still don't think people can see me, but I'm not going to have this light on too long. I wanted to show you the food, uh, but I'm going to answer questions so I don't get my phone all messy. I didn't get a lot of questions. I only got a few, um, so I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, rattle them off now um, I got uh, Papa Mike says do you dig a cat hole or run to the nearest gas station um, actually um, I mentioned that already in here that no I'd, I'd have a, I have a poo shovel uh, and I dig a hole um, I don't have to run to Walgreens for that or just run there to get soda or anything I usually try to bring everything I, uh, I can out here um, Lonnie says, what is more exciting, stealth camping or standard camping? Do you prefer to, well, let me answer that first. What is more exciting, stealth camping or standard camping? Um, there's pros and cons to both of them. Right now, I can't really enjoy, uh, camping and lay back. I have to make sure that I'm, I'm hidden. Um, but the adrenaline rush of doing this is a little higher than doing regular camping. Um, he's, Lonnie says, do you prefer to stealth camp alone or with a friend? Um, actually, I, I would say alone, but when I was with uh, Tyler, it actually was, was pretty fun. Uh, you don't want to stealth camp with too many people. It's not too stealthy when you have a lot of people out. But uh, having one person um, that's never done the stealth camping before, um, and this is actually only my second time stealth camping I, I, I've done it before when I was drinking and hiding out places but uh, this is only my second time so I'm not a professional at all um, as you see me in the field with the light on uh, but uh, I would I would like to uh, go stealth camping here and there maybe maybe see if Tasha would want to go I'm not sure but we'll see uh, if you had the chance what would be your favorite place to camp? I'm not really sure. Well, you know what? I want to say Pikes Peak. I would like to go from Pikes Peak on a mountain and camp. Um, I haven't been camping on a mountain. I've been on Pikes Peak. I've been to Colorado. Really enjoyed um, the mountain uh, when we was there, but we didn't get to camp. 
Uh, last one, uh, Giovanni Wong. Um, what is stealth camping? Stealth camping is just camping without getting caught. Um, borderline illegal, um, but it's not illegal. Um, I didn't see one trespassing sign here. Um, I didn't see a fence. Um, and it's not near somebody's house. Even though there's no trespassing or fence in some people's house, I have some morals. I'm not going to camp out too close to people's house and be creepy like that. Don't want to get shot at and have to shoot back. Uh, so uh, it's just uh, living off the fat of the land without taking advantage of somebody, uh, somebody's land. This, this they're selling, uh, but I'm not going to sit here and break trees and saw them off and try to make uh, shelters and everything with them. Um, I'm not going to mess their property up. I did dig the ground up, just scuff it up right over there just to cook so I didn't burn anything down. Um, but um, other than that, I'm going to leave it like I saw it. I'll probably throw some leaves over that. Um, and um, I'm picking up all my trash. And, and I do like like Steve uh, Wallace does. If you see some trash out here, he'll pick a little bit up as well because they might think you did it. Uh, so uh, it is a good thing to do. When I was living in my car for seven and a half months in Texas, I cleaned up about a 50-foot radius around my car just to let them know that, hey, it came from over here. So, uh, <clears throat> with that said, let me get some uh, food in me, and I'm going to go live for the garbage gang here in a minute. Uh, so, if you're not subscribed to Facebook, uh, they get a live every time I go stealth camping. They get two lives a day when I do survival series. Um, so, the one that just came up, survival series three in Dallas, they got two a day, and they got an extra one. They got a live food challenge, a stealth challenge. Uh, but that, that's coming out, that you guys will see that. That's at Taco Cabana and at Little Caesars Pizza in Dallas. <clears throat> About to do a survival season four. I'm going to let you guys know what this is. Usually I, I hide it and not tell you. But survival season four is going to be Bob. Bob and I camping. It's not really survival that you might think. But it's survival for him because he's never. He's like 50, 55, 56 years old. He's never been camping. So we're gonna go camping. If he survives, it's a survival series. Um, Tasha's not gonna be with us. She might come to go fishing because she works two or three regular real jobs. But when she uh, when she comes out there, she's gonna go fishing. Maybe take uh, Bob in the boat and go fishing a little bit and maybe catch us some fish so we can eat. Um, but she said one day she's gonna come out there and cook for us and then leave. So it's just gonna be me and Bob out there or Bob and I out there. So if you guys want to contribute, um, we've already got a uh, big fan, John Lyons, had helped out with the airfare for Bob to come here. So I want to thank him for the help on this video for the future video that will happen because he did help out. Um, it would be even more help if we could get some people to, to, to donate for the camping alone. It, it, it probably won't be much. I know altogether it's, it's only like $100 for the campsite for four days. Um, and then the food and such. I'm not sure what that's going to be, but um, anything to help out with Bob's visit to make his visit very nice for his first time camping um, would be great. Uh, we already got the camping gear, so you don't have to send any uh, camping uh, gear, uh, but uh, donations would be up on the screen. I won't put the price that you gave me. But your names are scrolled down the screen, uh, just like on season uh, three. So uh, season three should be out now. I'm not really sure. It's kind of hard to do the editing because I didn't even edit the videos yet. But by the time you're seeing this, I'm probably editing them. But all of the names come scroll down the screen. I'll do them real fast. I'll do them slow so you can see the names. But because we do want to appreciate everybody that helped out with Survival Series uh, three as well, Tyler did an amazing job. I really appreciate him um, helping me out. I wouldn't have had a half of it, uh, uh, the film that I would have had if it wasn't for him. So I do want to thank him. But other than that, let's uh, let's open these fajitas up. First of all, let me see if I wasn't talking for, for nothing out here. If this was recording, okay? It is recording. I got to get this light off though because it is getting very much pretty sure people can see this light i don't know okay 
we have some uh, large tortillas. I'm just gonna do one for you and then I'm gonna eat and tell you how great it is because I cooked it. Any chef on TV does not spit the food out and say this is god awful nasty. They're gonna say, before they even before they even bite it, they go, Oh, mm, that is delicious. Let's just stir it up. Oh, look at that. Goodness. Cheese melted. Oh yeah. It's gonna be delicious because I made it. Okay, guys, let's taste it out. I'll be honest with you. I will be honest with you. Oh, you know what these? These are freaking lettuce. I wrapped it too tight. Because I'm not wrapped too tight. So I wrapped this too tight and had a little hole in the bottom of it. It is a little spicy, though, because of that cheese. But it's a good amount of spice. It's not like overpowering spice. I leave it over this bowl, so I'll drip it all on the ground. The raccoons follow the trail to my tent. Oh yeah. Delicious. Talk to you one more time when I get in my wigwam. Okay. I'm gonna eat real quick and then go live for the garbage gang on Facebook. And I'll talk to you guys when I get in the tent and about to watch a movie and tell you what which movie I'm watching and how good it was. If I stayed awake through the whole movie, I'm getting old, so sometimes I don't watch the whole movie. Hey, uh, traffic is still heavy at that light. Um, I just came out here to see if they could see me out here. That That is only like 50 feet away, and that that road's over 100 something feet away, about 100 feet, so I'm pretty sure they're not gonna see me here. I do have it set up so I can do my live, uh, but I'll talk to you guys in the tent. I just wanna go out there. I just wanna go out there to make sure but this is my little setup here. But I'm gonna pop a squat and I'll be back with you with the movie of the night. Hey, I'm in the bevy. Um, remind me next time to not try to change clothes while I'm in here. Yes, this, this is difficult to change clothes inside of here, but it's very, very comfy. Um, I am on this thick, thick mat which is actually surprisingly about comfortable and sleeping at home. Um, I'm, I'm watching the Rings of Power. It is a, uh, like, I guess, Lord of the Rings. I used to like watching Lord of the Rings for the first few episodes. Pretty much on all series, first few episodes are good. Then it starts getting too crazy, crazy. Um, but I've, I've, well, series. After a few series, it gets stuck getting crazy. But I'm on the season one. So I guess it's only one season right now. But I'm on episode three. So it's going okay. I, I like Dungeons and Dragons type stuff. So um, I do enjoy the elves, orcs, and all kind of stuff that's in these videos. So we'll, uh, if you watch it, please comment below if you like it. Um, and if you ever tried stealth camping, let me know below um, of if you have or if you want to or... If you just think it's nuts. But with that said, guys, I'm going to watch the rest of this episode here and fall asleep. I'll let you know in the morning how it went, um, if there's any hiccups, and uh, drink some coffee. So, see you in the morning. Good morning, guys. It is like 6 a.m. Um, the sun will be up here in another 30 minutes or so. Um, but, uh... I had to handle some business over there, and uh, I'll probably get some coffee in, but I'm going to wait till the sun to come up just a little bit, and I will talk to you more about last night and uh, whatever the temperature is now. I'll check for you, so be back in a little bit. Go post stop recording.
Got the coffee um, still getting um, heated up. I had my light on um, to show you guys the process of that. Um, you see in the horizon there, there's a school bus going, kids going to school, and there's Walgreens. I think they open up at 7 a.m., so they're not open yet. Um, that is like a lot of places. They're not open 24 hours a day anymore because of the COVID deal. So I guess they saw they pinched a few pennies, so it's best that they don't open up all night. I don't know, I'm just speculating. Here is the booby tent, you can barely see it here, but um, I have some issues with that. Um, and I'll talk to you that, talk to you guys about that in a little bit as the sun goes up, but I'm gonna get my coffee, sit in my chair, and um, I'll be right back with you. Hey, I'm going to use my phone. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and use this phone because uh, even though the new GoPro uh, 10 I have is, is better in low visibility light, it's still not all the way there. Uh, but I got my coffee here. I didn't bring my sweet and low, but I put uh, two bags in this. This is like two cups of coffee, even though it's one cup, technically portion size, I guess, too. I'm just gonna leave the bags in there. Get a sip of this and let me get back. Hold on, I need this for hold on. One more. Okay. I checked the weather. Um I'm in I'm I'm here in a town called South Haven. Um or South Haven because there's no two H's South Haven is South Haven or South Haven but people say South Haven like no there's only one H in there okay let's, let's, let's get over that get over that people you're probably telling me to get over it <laughs> but um, it got to 52 degrees um, I have my thermal shirt on I should have brought a couple pairs of uh, socks I didn't bring extra socks so I had two extra shirts for some reason I don't know why I had two extra shirts well I had one shirt on the other shirt I used to clean up cooking so I, I wrapped one shirt around each foot so it worked out good um, the mattress was freaking amazing um, I'm probably gonna put that on the website uh, the bivy tent I want to put on the website I'm not uh, I, I don't know why I'm freaking screaming Nobody can hear me out here, but um, when I put it on my website at uh, DougGarbageDisposalStore.com, you're not buying it from me. It's just a link to go to Amazon. So you click the link, go to Amazon. I might get a 25 cents out of it, but uh, it's just me helping you helping people steer them to Amazon. Uh, so it's just Am Amazon influencer. But I only put stuff on there that I recommend. Um, the Bivy Tent. Let me tell you this, it's gonna be under outdoors or camping or something, but the bivy tent is uh, probably a two season tent, maybe a, maybe three, no, maybe two, maybe spring and summer, I don't know. Late spring, summer, and early fall. Is that still two seasons since you're only doing half of one season, half of this season? I don't know. But I'm telling you this because the colder it is outside, the warmer the little stealth coffin is, bivy tent, um, and condensation gets in there. I reached up, I thought it was dew from the outside, but I don't think it was. I think it was my hot breath inside that little stealth coffin, and it made the whole inside pretty damp. Uh, so that's probably going to be the last time i use that this year if the temperatures get below 60 degrees um this this spot here i could have used a two-person tent uh that i like to use so i can have all my stuff in there um but the chair would sit in there the mattress would fit in there uh but um it's just 
the only problem I have with that that air mattress it's not good um, capacity wise in my bag excuse me it fills that it fills almost the entire camping bag up um, so that's the only problem I had there um, with that so I probably had to strap that on the outside of the bag there is a contraption there on the outside so you can strap something that's a bigger item which I'll probably end up doing that um, I do have to tell you the traffic wasn't bad at all um, I was actually waiting to hear a honk 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 honk, honk uh, from um, Jeff Swartz because he lives about a mile due that way and uh, he told me last night we, we went live on the garbage gang uh, on Facebook and uh, he said do I need a wake-up call <laughs> out here usually I don't especially I usually get up right before the Sun gets up uh, excuse me. but I did sleep pretty good um, I woke up just a few times um, nothing major um, the movie um, I didn't watch a movie I watched uh, the ring of power it's still a little weird it's it's okay I'm not saying it's a, a 10 I would say it's a 7 it's mediocre um, right now I'm not sure if it's gonna get any better or any worse uh, but there's just how I'm, I'm it's kind of dragging I guess I'm trying to tell the story first of everybody before they get into everything else um, but, uh, but I watched two two videos of those those are like an hour and 10 minutes long and if I can pretend to be commenters and uh, comment about it's too long for a freaking show a series it's hour and ten minutes is too long um, I'm not sure how people uh, they did, I, I saw a few comments yesterday about bro your videos are way too long get them down to ten minutes or less like why why do people have to tell me about my channel there's a fast forward button there that is like the stupidest gripe i've ever heard is the videos are too long i always say this you can make the videos one second if you want just fast forward to the very 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 end is one second long video no matter how long the video is so the button's there for people that have a freaking press conference on the other side of the couch in their mom's basement. I don't know why I said all that, but it's frustrating. It's very frustrating. People, get a clue. But um, I don't understand how, how do they watch these series movies that's an hour and 10, 10 seconds long? Do they, do they email the, the, the director or the producer of the show and say, hey, your video's too long. Get them down to seven to ten minutes. How do you get any kind of content out of that? I don't know. I need more coffee though, because I'm griping. That said, it was it was a nice it was a nice time out here. This is a time I would I would like to leave before now because when I started it was darker than this. It's gonna be really bright when I go out out. Of the woods or the little uh, little house in the prairie weeds here. Um, I would have already broke my, my my tent down, but I put all my stuff right here last night, all in one pile, so I didn't trip over it if I had to get up and do the poo. But the tent's right here, and I would like to dry it out. I have to go back home and probably set it back out and dry it out because I think the dew got on top of it, but uh that's that so so excuse me so i'm gonna get all this stuff this is my pots and pans on the dirty pots and pans up there there's my trash bag that clear bag there uh, i'm gonna get all this set up and then um, head on out of here so let me um uh, let me okay hit the wrong button that's what she said but let me get all this set uh in this bags get the baby tent down and head out of here but thank you for watching the video guys um, the next stealth is going to be some bad acting I'm going to tell you that now it might not be the next stealth but the, 
one coming up pretty soon. I got something in the mail just for this. It's nothing extravagant, uh, but uh, for the people that fast forward are going to miss it. So, ha, 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 ha. Okay, got to go. Headed on out of here. I have everything cleaned up. Just want to let you guys see that uh, no trash. Only, only remnants of me being here is this UFO spotting. It's matted down here. So if the cops come, I'm going to say I came over because I thought I saw a UFO. And a UFO doesn't mean alien, folks. Illegal or legal. It means unidentified flying objects so i didn't know what that was okay but when people say ufo they get all crazy about it well i did solve the problem with the air mattress that's the air mattress on the outside of that bag so now i i am good to go that doesn't take up much of that bag and knowing me that means i could shove more stuff in that bag so yeah i, I like to come prepared folks so uh definitely i might can dumb it down to one bag instead of having that bag and that bag maybe i could put some of the cooking stuff in there now i think that's going to happen so it's going to be a little bit more stealthier instead of a guy looking like he's moving without a u-haul but uh i'll walk you out of here when i put my bags on and we're going to call it quits go post stop recording go post stop recording GoPro, stop recording. Off we go. I'm pretty sure it came in this direction. Yeah, I went around here. But, um, there's a little ditch right here. So that's all you gotta worry about. But after that, it's pretty cool. There's not too many sticker bushes. Uh, I didn't see any snakes, but they're somewhere. Just a normal guy coming out of freaking little house in the prairie field. That's why everybody's going to the real job. <laughs> My car's still there, so that's a good sign. Hopefully all the windows are still there. Yes, yeah, picking up traffic now. I don't have a real job, so I didn't know that this was the time that it gets busy out here. But I'm gonna go across this road without getting hit, hopefully. <laughs> Fat man running across the road. Fat man running across the road. Okay. Okay, we are here safe and sound. So, I wanna thank you for watching another stealth mission the next one i have planned um hopefully hopefully it's some bad acting in there for you just a little bit of bad acting just to tie it all together but here we go do want to show you this again i put this in the car a while back but i appreciate the disposal team members for thinking about me and my daughter and i got one on the other side as well so, okay. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Go post stop recording. Hey, thanks for watching the video again. If you haven't visited my website yet, um, the, the address is www.dougarbagedisposalstore.com. You can navigate through the top, all these links right here. Um, there is actually a question and comment form. If you have any questions or comments, uh, fill that out and it'll go straight to my email. At the very bottom, there is a free newsletter. Just sign up for right here um, and you will get a weekly newsletter. So uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting on? Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit see all so you get all the notifications and don't miss the videos. Please comment. I like to um, listen to your comments uh, and respond to you. So I do like to interact with you guys. Uh, please share the video with your friends, family, even your boss and have a great day unless you meet other plans.